Welcome to the Learning for Legacy show with me, your host, Afam Onyanakala. This is all about the concept of making generational wealth understandable, practical, and accessible. I'll be exploring a range of topics and sharing conversations, interviews, and more. Because what good is building wealth if we don't build the people? Hello again, welcome and thank you for joining me on the show today. Now, last week we looked at where great ideas come from and how we can get them. So just to recap, in this context, the origin of ideas are goals. And these goals become more personal and powerful when they are set for yourself. Now, what creates the magnetism is a need or perceived need that you have and this becomes the source of your goal. Because our ideas are determined by our goals, any new piece of information will be filtered through the way we see, think, and interpret a situation. And this paradigm of mindset is what can make it work or not. So when it comes to presenting yourself and your ideas, both you and your ideas can be considered as an entity. This is because people buy you and your ideas before they buy anything that you have to offer or sell. Therefore, selling yourself is an essential skill when it comes to achieving an aspirational goal. Sales has at times been given a bad reputation from the practices of dubious salespeople, but that has more to do with the character of the person as opposed to the honor of true selling. Um, Because true selling has everything to do with identifying and being clear about the value you can bring to others in exchange for money or financial increase. The expression, what do you have in your house, is to do with what value you bring to the table to the benefit of others. And this can include number one, absolutes. This has everything to do with who you are, the core essence of your being and what you present to the world. Number two, attitude. This is to do with your beliefs, effectively what you stand for. Three is abilities. This is to do with your strengths or aptitude and is effectively what you can do or are able to do for others. Number four is achievements. This is to do with your experience and what you have done, what you can present to others that is to do with what you've done. And finally, number five, aspiration. This is all about your dreams, what you would like to do going forward. Thanks for listening to Learning for Legacy. To join our community or find out about what else we get up to, you can follow us on Twitter at Legacy Learning or on our website at www.legacylearning.co.uk. To access additional content or exclusives from this particular episode, please find the information within the show notes.